This tutorial is going to show you how to use your smartphone to measure the wettability of surfaces. As explained in earlier tutorials, the contact angle of a liquid droplet on a surface is a good method of characterising the wetting properties of that surface. The contact angle of a droplet is measured by taking the points on the droplet that are simultaneously in contact with the solid, liquid and air, and drawing a tangent to the droplet curve at these points. The contact angle is then the angle between this tangent and the solid surface. If the contact angle of a water droplet on a surface is less than 90 degrees, the surface is known as hydrophilic. If the contact angle of a water droplet is greater than 90 degrees, the surface is known as hydrophobic. Contact angle is typically measured using a video contact angle system, or VCA. The most basic system consists of a video camera and a motorised syringe that are attached to a computer, as well as a variable sample stage. A light module is also often included in case there isn't sufficient illumination. There are more sophisticated systems that allow the sample stage to be tilted, or that contain modules to control the humidity. But even this basic system seen here costs between 10 and 20 thousand US dollars. This tutorial describes a simple alternative to this system that uses a pipette, a smartphone and a lens attachment to achieve droplet image capture, and then a free image editing software that allows the contact angle to be calculated from the image. Assuming that most people have access to a computer and a smartphone, the only cost of this system is the lens attachment and the pipette that comes to a cost of less than $7. Even if you account for the cost of the computer and the smartphone, this lens attachment system is still at least 10 times cheaper than the VCA system. Then there is the fact that the lens attachment system is compact and portable, which allows for the option of in-the-field surface analysis. For example, with plant surface characterization, this would negate the need for the sample cutting to be taken, sufficiently preserved, and then safely transported for contact angle analysis. You could simply take the droplet image on the plant and then save the image for later analysis or perform contact angle measurements straight away if you had access to a laptop. In terms of the accuracy of the contact angle measurements using the lens attachment system compared to the VCA system, over a range of different angles from 24 to 135 degrees, the lens attachment system gives results to within 4 degrees plus or minus 3 degrees of those acquired for the same droplets using the VCA system. This small difference in measured contact angle values is more than outweighed by the significant savings in cost and enhanced portability of this system. To implement this method, you will need a pipette capable of dispensing small droplets. The small droplet size is necessary to minimise the droplet distortion under gravity, which will affect the contact angle measurement. You will also need a smartphone with a 4 megapixel camera or higher to ensure sufficient image resolution. And finally you will need a smartphone lens attachment, where the product name and company website are listed here. You will need to download the ImageJ software onto your computer. Note that version 1.46 including Java is required for use here, due to incompatibility issues with the more recent versions and the drop analysis plugin required to measure the static contact angle. This version of the software can be downloaded from this website and using the link ij146jdk664bitsetup.exe. You will need to check your computer specifications to check if it has a 64-bit processor. If it does not, you will need to use this alternative link. It should be noted, however, that the link in the following tutorial is designed for Windows computers and may vary for different operating systems. You will also require the Drop Analysis plugin for ImageJ, which was developed by Aureline Stadler from the Biomedical Imaging Group of École Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne. It can be sourced from this website in the dropanalysis.zip folder in the right-hand column of the web page. Having downloaded version 1.46 of ImageJ from the link, now install ImageJ and keep a note of where on the hard drive it has been installed to. The default is usually to create its own ImageJ subfolder within your computer's program files folder. 
Having downloaded the Drop Analysis zip folder from the link, open the Drop Analysis folder, usually from within your computer's Downloads folder, and extract all the files. Note that the location of the Extract All Files button may vary with make and model of your computer. There will be a prompt to choose the location to extract the Drop Analysis folder to. It must be extracted to the Plugins subfolder within the ImageJ folder. For example, C, Program Files, ImageJ, Plugins. Once you have the relevant equipment and have installed the ImageJ and Drop Analysis software, remove the lens attachment components, which consist of the fisheye lens, the wide lens, the macro lens, and the lens holder. The wide lens may be attached to the macro lens. If this is the case, unscrew the macro lens from the wide lens and then screw the macro lens into the lens holder. The other lens attachments are not required in the contact angle measurements. The lens attachment is then simply clipped over the camera lens of the smartphone. It is useful to have the smartphone camera on to ensure the lens attachment is properly aligned over the centre of the smartphone camera lens. Position your sample flush with the edge of a workbench or table in a well-lit environment, preferably in front of a white wall or white backdrop. Using the pipette, dispense a 1 microliter droplet of ultra-high purity water close to the front edge of the sample, i.e. the edge that is aligned with the edge of the workbench. This is to enable the smartphone with the lens attachment to be positioned close enough to the sample to focus on the droplet. Position the smartphone approximately 1-2cm to two centimeters from the droplet and use the smartphone camera's inbuilt zoom and its autofocus to achieve the optimum resolution close-up image of the droplet. The zoom is best used to approximately halfway and the autofocus used by tapping on the image of the droplet to focus the smartphone's camera on that droplet. These droplet images can then be transferred to a computer via email, a file sharing program such as Google Drive or Dropbox, or by USB connection directly to the computer. This last option is particularly useful if the images require in the field analysis where internet is unavailable. Once these droplet images are uploaded onto a computer which has ImageJ and the Drop Analysis plugin installed on it, they are ready for analysis. To analyse a droplet image, first open ImageJ and open the droplet image. I will use the sample image provided in the Drop Analysis folder to illustrate, and I recommend practising on this sample image before analysing your own droplets. It should be noted that, as shown in this sample droplet image, there are three fundamental droplet image requirements. Firstly, the image must be grayscale, which can easily be achieved with most image editing software like Windows Live Photo Gallery. Simply save the droplet image as grayscale, and then open that grayscale version of the photo in ImageJ. Secondly, the sample surface must be as close to the horizontal plane as possible, so it must have a minimal tilt angle. And finally, the image must have a well-defined droplet edge in order for the drop analysis plugin to calculate the static contact angle. Another point to note is that while unnecessary with this sample image, dropper images taken with the smartphone lens attachment often require magnification to a similar size to this sample image in order to aid in ease of the static contact angle measurement. This can be done using the magnification tool. Once the dropper image has been opened and sufficiently magnified, Open the Drop Snake tool from the Plugins, Drop Analysis, Drop Snake. This should open the Drop Snake toolbar, as well as another dialog box called Final Curves. Wait for this dialog box to appear before proceeding, and then do not remove this box, just move it to one side. Then open the Preferences window using the Heart button, and ensure the settings are the same as shown here. Save these settings, and click OK to implement them. If there are any queries with this method, the Drop Snake user manual, which is included in the Drop Analysis folder you've already downloaded, describes all of the respective buttons in the Drop Snake toolbar 
and details their use in measuring the static contact angle. Here is a link to a video detailing how to use the drop snake plugin to map the droplet curve and some common troubleshooting pointers to note with the use of the drop snake plugin. In this video we have looked at the theory and definition of droplet contact angles as well as how contact angle is used to characterise the wettability of a surface. We have also looked into how contact angle is currently measured using video contact angle systems. We have then explored in detail an alternative system of contact angle measurement using a smartphone and a lens attachment that is compact, portable and at least 10 times cheaper than currently used video contact angle systems.